Hey, welcome to Talking360.com. I'm Tony Scott, and with me is Renata L. Chandler. She is the founder and creator of Smart Kids, Inc. Uh, the website is smartkidsinc.org, and uh, say hello to Renata. How are you? Hi, how are you guys? I'm, I'm great. Everything is good. Now, Smart Kids Incorporated is a nonprofit. Yes, sir. And you tutor students from kindergarten to 12. Yes, sir. And you do that for free, and yes, I, we got to we got to get into that because I, I I mean I don't understand how you can do that for free because you you got to make a living, but we'll get into that. But you specialize in reading and math and science mm -hmm. and uh, computer language, uh, also communication arts and social studies. Yes, sir. Uh, now, what made you? What got you to the point where you know what? I got to start something that's going to help tutor these kids because you are a certified substitute teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, you, but but what got you to the point where you felt like you needed to create a program? Well, to be honest, we have been on paper, um, like I, I always call it a paper dream for five years, mm -hmm. and this should be our first year going live. Uh, what got me to this point to make it go live is all these school districts are losing their accreditation. Uh, back in 2012, Kansas City, Missouri lost their accreditation. Recently, Normandy lost their accreditation. And Riverview is on the verge of losing their accreditation. Mm -hmm. And it's, it really hurts me to know that these kids are, to be honest, getting cheated out of education. I understand that you can bust these students to different school districts, but when you have to bust them way out there, then they have to try to cram into their school district and it's so many kids in the classroom and you know they have to try to fit into their lifestyles out there where they're visiting their school. How much are they really paying attention when they feel somewhat uncomfortable in a, in a surrounding that they're not familiar with? How much are they going to pay attention when you have X amount of students on top of the already limited amount that you can have in the classroom? So uh, you, you you mentioned on your website, and I thought it was a pretty interesting statement. I thought it was very true, too. You know, those kids are not taught the same way we were taught. No, sir, they were not. You and I both know that the way that we, you and I were taught math, you know, it was as simple X, Y, and Z. Now they have X to the fifth power, now to three to the third power, log that to an X power. So it's like, why not take a fresh mind that already knows this and help another fresh mind to understand it? Now, the goal of Smart Kids Incorporated is to be uh, statewide, available yes, to all sir. students statewide. But, but right now, you do you are working, though, with schools this coming school year in St. Louis City and St. Louis County. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We had our official first meeting with the Sulard administration uh, today, and that was so incredible for me to be able to go in there and represent my company to them, and they are loving the idea. And um, we've also been in connection with the Normandy School District, University City School District, Pattonville School District, and the Park uh, Parkway School District. So slowly but surely, we are making our rounds to all 24 districts in the St. Louis County School Districts, and we're going to be hitting up the St. Louis City School Districts later on this uh, year. Renata Chandler is, 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 I think, is an incredible woman. Now, you've become not only an educator, yes, but sir. now you're you're a businesswoman. Yes. Now, how intimidating is is the businesswoman part of this whole thing? Because not only are you going to have to run a business, and because you're a new business, you're probably very happy. You have to roll your sleeves up and get in there yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But now you got to keep track of everything, too. you got to keep the books and everything like that. I mean, how intimidating is that? Well, you know what? If you just ask for the help, it, it will come. And we are now connected with the University of Missouri. We have two student um, students that are and accounting there that are going to come over and help us run the bucks um, this for their practicum and we're also working with their um, secondary educator education department and their students are going to do their curriculum and their practicums over here with Smart Kids Inc. as a, a stepping stool for their graduation towards their practicum and they will, will receive a, um, credit for that also. So let me ask you this: How involved does in your in your program? How involved is the parent going to have to be if my child needs some help with math? Yes, sir. And I seek Smart Kids Incorporated out, and we hook up, and I get my kid involved in this. How involved am I going to have to be as a parent? You can be involved 
in every single step of the way. The way the program works is if your child does need help, you just fill, uh, simply contact Fill out the contact page on our website, and then we'll get the email on our side. We'll call you and your uh, child in and have an interview with you, have you guys to fill out the application, see where your child needs the help at, and then we will match you with a high school student in your district to tutor your child. You and the tutor then will come back to our uh, administration office and meet, and that way you could know who's actually tutoring your child. The okay. tutoring takes place at the student school, um, either on a Monday and a Wednesday or a Tuesday and a Thursday. We don't tutor on Fridays, one hour after school. And if you want to come up and sit while the tutoring takes place, we welcome that. If you have questions, please answer. I mean, please answer, and we will definitely help you. We want the parents to be involved just as much as we are with their child. Now, I, I, I got a little confused. I got to be honest on, on your website because yes, you, you work with kids K through 12, but there was something mentioned about college students, too. Do you work with college students? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Education, this doesn't stop at the 12th grade. So it's, it's college students out there that does need help, um, you know, with their activities at school. So we do tutor uh, kindergarten through uh, the, correct, the correct grade is 16th, which is also a senior in college. So we do help out with the college students also. Okay. They don't just come to us as a, you know, work with us as a practicum. They can also be tutored as well. You're never too okay. old to learn something. This is true. I learn something every day, and I'm well past my college years. I got to tell you, so, 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 uh, it, it's a great program. It's non for profit. So, yes, what can someone do to help? I mean, I'm not in education. Yes, sir. Uh, I work a nine to five, but I like. Could I donate money? Could I donate what? time? What is it that I can do to feel like I'm contributing to the education of children uh, through Smart Kids Incorporated? We can always use. Um off, you know, supplies at the uh, office are for the students when we go send them out. We can always use money. You can donate uh, using our PayPal account uh, for Smart Kids Inc. And we also have a GoFundMe page that uh, people can donate. They accept all major credit cards and debit cards. Um, monetary gifts are always welcome with our serve with our organization and your time. We would love your time. I mean, mm -hmm. if you don't have the time, but I mean, for parents who are at home, that's what I'm saying, or who can give, you know, 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there, we would love it. If you know of some students that you think can benefit from our program, we welcome that. that that's, a, that's a help to us right there. So is this coming school year going to be your first? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your, yes. First, your first full school year for Smart Kids Incorporated then? Yes, sir. We're going live this year. Wow. And we just signed our contract for our administrative office, so I'm so super stoked about that. Wow. Are you going to have time to still be a substitute teacher? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Right now, I don't know, but <laughs> yeah. I'm still certified. I mean, so. Is, is Miss Chandler still going to be filling in? Because I know you're going to be busy with this whole thing going on here. You know what? The education comes first, so I'm going to use myself every day to put forth my dream of helping out students, whether it be educating them through uh, my substitute teaching or at the office. Okay, well, Ron, let's talk a little bit about you, though. Yes, sir. You, uh, have you always wanted to be in education? Is that since you were a kid, did you always want a career in education? Uh, once I had my children, once me and my husband had our children, their education is our main focus. Um, we're not gonna sit back and let our, our children not get good grades that's just not an option at our household if it that means that we have to sit there to the break of dawn to help you to what to help them understand something that's what we're gonna do yeah that's i remember i had my i had my grandson yeah. one summer when he was five years old and because uh, he lives in texas and oh, really? uh he uh he, we were trying to teach him some stuff some schoolwork and stuff and he kept clowning around and didn't want to like you know focus or anything and and I just I, I was sitting there with him and I told him says look man I'm on vacation so I got nowhere to go so we'll sit here all day and all night till you mm -hmm. get it done so you want to keep playing around that's cool play around man but we ain't getting off the table until you start doing this lesson right hey, and he yeah. just looked at me like he just looked at me like are you serious <laughs> I was like yeah I am serious so yeah. I applaud you. I applaud you for that it, do you think the, the the problem with I mean there there are lots of different reasons and combinations of why kids do not learn. But how big a factor, in your opinion, 
does the, the, the fact that parents just don't get involved play into kids missing their education? Well, you know, it's different strokes for different folks. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, um, some families are single parent house homes. Some parents, you know, it's that safe, but just don't care. Mm -hmm. And some parents just don't understand a new way that, te that the students are being taught. So they, they really don't know how to give back to their children in that respect to help them to understand what they've learned earlier in school. So it's just, just different strokes. Mm -hmm. But we want to be that filling gap I mean, filling or filling that gap for the parents, you know, who A have works a lot, B who probably doesn't care, and C probably just don't understand it. We want to be there to be their support system. That's fantastic. I think what you're doing is great, and I think I, I, I'm trying to figure out still how, how is it that you're going to be able to pay people because it's not it's you're a nonprofit and you're doing yeah. it for free. Yeah, well, this is the this is the great part about why we are a nonprofit. Since we want to give back to the students, we are taking high school and college students to do the tutoring for us. So that's where the fresh mind meets another fresh mind quota comes from. And these students in, will in return receive a, a community service credit because that's exactly what they're doing, giving back to their, com their community. And that's so fantastic. You know, and that's one thing I'll say about, the, about schools now that they yeah. didn't, a lot of schools now that didn't do when we were going to school is there now in some schools there's a required community service component yes sir to be to being a student back then it didn't, it didn't i don't no, know if it was a, a, either yeah they didn't have it back then, but they have it now and that's a great thing and so students who become tutors in your organization they get credit for their community requirements yes sir they get a uh, one credit per um school year for doing this that's and fantastic. i know it's only four school years in the high school setting but just this thing, you can get four credits just for doing community service, giving back to your community. So not only are you paying it forward to the next person, but you're also receiving something in return. I'm anxious to see uh, just how how uh, how this is going to I know it's going to turn out positive, but I want to see just how grateful these students are. But I want to ask you, my last yes, question sir. is this, but is, is how long did it take you to get from the idea of Smart Kids Incorporated to this coming school year, I, I mean, how long was that road? Uh, that that has been a pretty lengthy road, I must say. <laughs> but you know, you got to. Whenever um, this will be my first time starting up a business, but I just wanted to be so right. You know, I wanted to make sure I had all my I's dotted, my T's crossed, you know, everything in a correct order because you don't want to go out there, rush out there, and do something and then it becomes a big fail. Mm -hmm. We we have been on papers for about five years. So now with us coming live, you know, we're getting our uh, certification through the IRS. We've linked up to a lot of school districts. We've we've got a tremendous amount of positive feedback from the parents uh, stating that they do want their child to be tutored through our program. And we just think that's so awesome. Yeah. We were able to do a live segment with uh, Margie Ellisworth from Fox 2 News. So that gave us a lot of uh, promo and a lot of people came and um, wanted our services. So we're just anxious and we're just excited to see where this is going to go. So my friends in Illinois are going to want to know, when can they expect you to expand? Um, you know what? I am so ready to go across state lines. And I'm thinking within the next school year to 2015 to 2016 school year. Uh, I'm tongue tied here. 2015 to 2016 school year, we want to take it across state lines to Illinois. Because we know that our organization to be can be a gift to them also. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Well, I'm I'm rooting for you. I think you're going to hit it out of the park because I well, think I, thank you. I, I think I think that you're going to fill you're going to fill a void uh, because a lot of kids who need tutoring that's just not available for whatever yeah. reason it's not. And here you're going to provide this service at no charge, yeah. and you're going to help the the kids who are actually going to be the tutors. Yes. And this is a win win for everybody. I don't know why no one else thought about this, but you did. Yeah, I guess so. But God bless you, man. I, th I think this is going to be great, and I'm excited to hear how it's going. Hopefully, uh, maybe sometime during the middle of the school year, you can come back on and tell us uh, how's it going and stuff yes, like sir, that. Like a progress. Right. I'll, I'll, ha I'll have a, you'll have to have a progress report for me to sign. Oh, <laughs> without a doubt, Principal, Principal Scott. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Renata Chandler, founder, creator of Smart Kids Incorporated. The, the, the website is Smart Kids Inc. 
dot org. You can check it out. I'll put a link in the notes down below. Rana, thank you so much for your time and God bless you and good luck. Thank you so much for fitness in your busy schedule. All right, I'm Tony Scott. Thanks for watching Talking 360, and we'll see you again real soon.